how to stop being broke and the real reasons you're broke and how to stop it immediately. Look, in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly why you're broke, how to stop it, how to change it forever. And there's two major components of that. The first is the psychological and the emotional piece. The second is a simple strategy of how you manage and respect money. Have you ever noticed that there are some people that no matter what they do, they just make more and more and more money? Well, other people, no matter how hard they work, they can't have two pennies to rub together. And it's because our roots, I repeat, our roots determine our fruits. Everything starts with what's called the inner game of money. And there's a simple formula called the process of manifestation, where our thoughts directly impact our feelings, which directly impact our actions, and ultimately impact the results that we get. So most of our thoughts that are happening subconsciously, it's our root system, and we're not paying attention to those. And we feel a certain emotion. So if we feel crappy, stressed, overwhelmed, worry, or doubtful, we're gonna take less good actions that get us less good results, it's that simple. Now, if we wanna be able to feel really, really good, that means we have to have really, really good thoughts, and the better we feel, the better our actions are, then we get better results and ultimately better opportunities. Look, let me, do, let me explain it to you a separate way. It's like a thermostat. Now, if you've got the thermostat set to 68 degrees, and it's really, 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 really cold outside, and you open the door, cold air is gonna come in the house, and it's gonna drop the temperature on the thermometer. But soon enough, the thermostat's gonna kick in, the furnace and the heater's gonna kick on, it's gonna heat the room back up. On the reverse side, if it's 68 degrees, it's really, really, really hot outside, you leave the doors and windows open, heat's gonna come in, the temperature's gonna rise, it's gonna get hot, but soon enough, the thermostat's gonna kick in, the AC's gonna kick on, it's gonna cool off the house and the room. It's the same thing with your money, up here is your financial thermostat. When your thermostat is set to a certain temperature and you start to get really hot with money, you start to make a lot of money, soon enough, your thermostat's gonna kick in, it's gonna cool you off and you're gonna start to lose money. Or let's say that you're really good with money and for some reason you started to lose money, all of a sudden the thermostat's gonna kick in and you're gonna start to make a lot of money again it's gonna come back up to where your thermostat is. So the real objective is to change your root system, I repeat, your root system, and raise your thermostat. And I know you're looking for specific strategies, I'm gonna to get to that in just a second, but I wanna share with you that 80% of the money game, it's happening psychologically and emotionally. It's not happening on the external because there are four major components that make us up. There's a mental, a spiritual, an emotional, and a physical. The mental, spiritual, and emotional is the whole thing that creates the 3D printout of our physical realm. So all you have to do is check your bank account, check your investments, check your active income, check where you're at financially, and that's the 3D printout of what's going on here. So if you wanna change the 3D printout, you want way more money in your bank, you wanna have way more residual income, you wanna way more higher active income, you wanna have the ability to make and hold lots and lots of money, you gotta change what's in here first into your root system, which is all subconscious. The second part of this video that I wanna share with you is a strategy you could actually use right now in order to respect and attract more money. And it's a simple cash flow management system. I want you to write this down. If I can't manage one dollar, I will never ever be able to manage millions of dollars. And the same goes to say, if I can't appreciate one dollar now, I'll never be able to appreciate millions and millions of dollars. I remember when I was younger, I would see some coins on the side of the road or at a gas station back in the day when we paid with money, and I would always pick it up, and I would say thank you for that money I put in my pocket. Well, I noticed that other people, they had some extra nickels or pennies, they would actually throw them away. When you look at how you treat simple things like this, if you're throwing it away, you're actually telling the universe, I don't want more money. But if you're willing to pick up even a dirty old penny with all those germs on it and say, thank you universe for sending me more money, guess what? You're creating the flow of appreciation. You'll attract more and more money. So if you can appreciate that dirty little penny, you'll be able to, you'll be able to appreciate millions and millions of dollars. But let me share with you a simple formula with cash flow management that I've used over the last 15 years of my life that have made me millions and millions of dollars. And the first step is I have to have the ability that when money comes in, I'm emotionally detached from this. I have a secure attachment with money. And this is a powerful declaration that I make all the time. I have a secure attachment with money. 
But when the money comes in, I need to divide it into about seven different accounts. The first account is what's called your financial freedom account. This is the money that you're gonna set aside to buy investments, stocks, equities, cryptocurrencies, gold, silver, cash value, whole life policies, uh, assisted living, real estate. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on and on on what you can move into with that money. The second is what's called your long-term savings for spending. And this is money that you're gonna save up and you're gonna do one of three things with this. The first is you're gonna buy something big. You wanna put a down payment on a new car, you wanna go on a killer vacation, or you just wanna buy something super, super nice that you have to save up for. Second thing is you're gonna pay off bad debt. This is debt that you've accumulated because you already spent well above your means, like you bought some furniture at RC Willys, or you've got some super high credit card debt that you did for whatever with, right? You're gonna use this account to pay that down. Third thing is, it's emergencies. Let's say you got to have a root canal, or you got a flat tire, and you need to replace all four of your tires, or your kid has a medical emergency. You're gonna use this account, the long-term savings for spending. The third account that I'm gonna to talk to you about is what's called your give account or your contribution account. This is where you're gonna give or share money to a special cause that's important to you. Like, one of my favorite places is to donate to Operation Underground Railroad that helps fight slavery here in the world today. The fourth account is called your fun account or your play account. This is a percentage that of every dollar you make, you can spend on you, no questions asked. You wanna go out and have a nice meal, spend that. You want a nice massage, you wanna go do something like that, you have a, a favorite Starbucks coffee that you want, you want crepes, no questions asked. It comes out of this account, you get a splurge on you, and you get to tell the universe, look, I appreciate receiving money, and I use money as a tool to enjoy but you gotta do it inside of your specific percentage. The fifth is what's called your OPEX or your necessities account, your operations account or your necessities account. This is what you're gonna live off of. This is your mortgage payment, your gas bills, your utilities, your groceries. This is the essentials of life. This isn't all your luxuries. This is just what it takes to operate your current lifestyle. And then the sixth is actually going to be one of my favorites. It's called your proximity account or your education account. You are your number one asset. So you're gonna put a percentage of every dollar you earn into an account that you can buy courses, you can go to trainings, you can go to webinars, you can go to seminars. And look, the more you invest in yourself, the more value you add to yourself, you'll be able to go produce and add more value to the marketplace. I have a declaration that I deserve to be rich because I add value to other people's lives. Some of my top clients pay me as much as $90,000 a year to work with me because I make that big of an impact. At the same time though, I had to really invest in myself, like spending hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. I spent over $100,000 to go be in Tony Robbins Platinum Mastermind or Platinum Circle. I've spent a ton of money working with T. Harv Ecker. I have coaches, I have a relationship coach. I just spent $20,000 to go to Fountain Life so I could figure out how healthy is my body and what adjustments do I have to make so I can live even longer. But this is what's called the proximity account so that I can invest it in me, getting around the people that have the answers to the questions that I don't even know what to ask yet so that I can become a higher value person to the marketplace. And then the seventh account, which is the last account, it's not my favorite account, but it's an account we have to have. I call it country donations because all of us have to pay taxes to the country that we live in. Our objective is to reduce that as much as possible. But the biggest mistake I see with a lot of people is they postpone or they extend their taxes or they don't set too enough aside or the worst is they're setting way too much aside because they're scared. They don't know how tax incentive works and then end up spending way too much on taxes. This is what's called your country donation account. Feels way better to me calling it a country donation versus a tax account, but you get the idea. So the two major things I shared in this video for you today is, first is our roots determine our fruits. It's a psychological and emotional game. It's an inner world game with money. And really how your roots were originally created, you were conditioned through modeling, through verbal responses from your parents, or even specific incidents, like I bet, the memories you have when you were a kid with money of your parents fighting at some point. Lots of people that come to me that I hope make a lot of money, we have to change this route in their mind. I remember some of the most brutal fights in my house growing up all revolved around what? Revolved around money. So that's a specific incident that I created a belief around money. But also, I was conditioned verbally by my parents by things like, I can't afford that, or money doesn't grow on trees, or who do you think I am, the Rockefellers? or rich people screw people over. These are all beliefs that were implanted and conditioned in your mind. And then the other thing, you just modeled. 
And you know, monkey see, monkey do. How your parents were with money, how your colleagues, your friends were with money, how your friend's parents were with money, how your community was with money. That became your norm and you were conditioned that way. So one of the things I help people do is I help them rip out those bad roots, create new roots and condition them so that they automatically win the game of money. So that money just comes into their lives over and over and over and over again. But the second thing I share with you is a simple roadmap on how you can manage your cash flow so that when a dollar comes in, you respect money. And I become, through this process, an excellent money manager. I'm gonna leave the video with this on four reasons why you deserve to not be broke and to make a whole lot of money. The first is your lifestyle. You deserve to travel better. You deserve to live in a nicer house. You deserve to eat healthier food. You deserve to wear nicer clothes, even Gucci shoes. You deserve that, but you also deserve to do it without a lot of stress and worry. The second thing is your ability to contribute. You deserve to contribute on a higher level. People need your help, especially if you live in North America. You live in the most modern society in the history of the world, and you definitely live in the most blessed, area right now to financially go win in today's world so that you can serve way more people. It'd be a freaking waste of your opportunity and the gift that you've been given to not go make a lot of money and go serve a lot more people. The third reason is who you become in the process because through the reconditioning process to make a whole lot of money, to have financial freedom, to build a real amount of wealth, along that way, you become just a better person. You think differently, you act differently, you show up differently. And then the fourth reason, I already, hinted on that a little bit, is so you can stop worrying about money. I mean, imagine that. You didn't have to worry about money anymore. You had a really secure attachment with money and that you knew more money was coming in each and every month. No matter what you did, you showed up and more money just found you. I hope you like this video. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. So go ahead and leave them, leave them in the combat, hit the share button, share this to the friend. Look, one of the ways we can help more people here today is to help them learn about money management and about the psychology of their wealth. So share this with your friends or someone you think could benefit from this video. Finally, smash that like button. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon. Look, I wanna say thanks for watching my video. And I know that this isn't for everyone, but it is for certain people that are ready to make big changes. Like they're ready to create residual revenue. They're ready to become real business owners. They're ready to have a business that makes money even when they're not working. And if that's you, I want you to click the link down in the description and I want to give you an opportunity to have what's called a triage discovery call. We're gonna meet with my head coach and learn where you're stuck in your business and what changes you gotta make so that you don't have to work to make money. I, and I wanna say again, I know that sounds crazy, but imagine you took time off and you still made money. That doesn't mean you don't have a business to grow, you absolutely do. But I'm gonna teach you how to grow a business that makes money even when you're not there working. So click the link down below, get your free consultation with my team, and let's really discover where you're at and how you can create it. We'll see you there.